Hello viewers, this is Rise, and welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound, where we are currently experiencing technical difficulties. Okay. <laughs> um, phase 4, exactly the same as Phase 3. Just continue to pray. Brain shock. Alpha. Um, apparently this guy's dialogue, Gygus' dialogue, is based on, uh, the developer, uh, or the director, he, like, walked in on, uh, like, some scary scene in a movie, and he thought it was, like, a rape scene or something. So, I, like, scarred him, and he made Gygus after that, I guess. I can never say the guy's name, so that's why I don't say it. It's Itoi or something? Shigasaki Itoi? I'm not good with Japanese names. If I'm not mistaken, anyway. Wow. Okay, yeah, I definitely would have gone with body armor. Yeah, the body armor, definitely. 52 damage, yeah. Yeah, we better just run away. No. <laughs> Um, just defend because he's not even doing anything to me. Nah, I better just keep what I'm doing. Well, I never got to use the hand aid, did I? It just like, uh, it basically fully heals one party member. I'll just show it off. It doesn't heal PP, though, if I'm not mistaken. I hope I hit Prey there. Yeah, and I just have Pooh Guard. There's really nothing you can do. Yeah, say so it just fully heals HP. Yeah, so, uh, Popoki's, um, like, taunting you of, uh, try and call for help is actually your clue to how you need to beat the final boss. It's kind of odd, though, because, I mean, you would never use the Prey Command otherwise. It also makes a certain plot element useless, but I'll get into that later when I review the game. Man. Polly, you should have bought that body armor, I'm telling you. These prayers aren't doing much. Oh, yeah, just, uh... Life up Omega every round. And Jeff and Pooh are utterly useless. Well, Pooh can actually brain shock him, so. Jeff, on the other hand, you suck. <laughs> well, just for this battle, though. By the way, the final boss is also too fast for a bottle rocket to hit him. He's got, like, max speed and luck. It's ridiculous. Tony! All right. I really like this set of events. Um, it reminds me of a scene from another game that came out after this. Which is currently on my list of LP. And I'm going to keep that a surprise, because I've already decided on my Let's Play for After Chrono Trigger. And I guess my only hint I can give you is I haven't seen very many LPs of it. Actually, I haven't found any of it. And it's a lesser known RPG series from the PlayStation era. Oh, what am I doing? Here's another hint. The series recently had its 10 year anniversary. was about, what was it, a uh, year ago? Something like that. Wasn't too far long ago. The series is about you know, 10 years old. I'd say how many games there are in the series, but that would completely give it away. Uh, 
this is a very boring final boss battle. I'm sorry this isn't very epic, but... Well, on my part, uh, when you actually play the game, it's actually really well done, but... Ow, my knee just cracked. Damn, that hurt. Sitting in this damn chair too long. And finally got around to actually recording the rest of this thing. The rest of this LP here. Stupid cam studio messing up on me when I tried to do it before. Oh well, what can you do? Hey, it's Frank! It's the purple wearing gang leader! He's not really a gang leader anymore, though. Oh well. Six hundred and fifty four damage. Okay, uh, maybe maybe the body armor is outmatched by the power of prayer. Actually, technically it's not really prayer, it's it's more like telepathy. Well I guess it's kinda of bold, huh? Yeah, yeah, it has to be. Cause um she's using her telepathy her telepathic powers to talk to everybody that she knows. And they're the ones praying. So Gygus' weakness is apparently positive emotions. Which I guess makes sense if you're the embodiment of all evil. Positive emotions should be able to destroy you. Do, do. Do, do. Do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do. Such a nice tune. Don't mess with Ness's mother. And we are at the fifth stage. All right. Um, seizure alert. Seizure alert. Seizure alert. Seizure alert. Well, all that's left now is to finish him off with prayer. All right, let's do it. Yeah, because you're about to die. I bet this last prayer will end your life. Ha ha ha. You dumbass. Here we go. This is it. Huh? What do you mean, Paula? Oh, crap. Oh, crap. What the hell are they going to do now? They're screwed. There's no way they can stop Gygus now. Whatever will our heroes do? Well, there's only one way to find out. And that's to watch the next episode. To find, to watch the epic conclusion of the battle against Gygus. See you next time on Lex Play Earthbound. Have a great day, guys. Because I know Ness won't. <laughs>